Hi, this is Rahul Kapoor and welcome back. Today I want to talk about this time, that thing. Yes, that thing as in the resolutions, this time as in the New Year's time, right? How often do we find ourselves in situations when we make a new resolution in the first week of January hoping that we will have a change in our life and then we are back to where we were. Now the question is why does it happen? Answer is simple, simply because we are not aware of how this brain functions and the moment you get that awareness, that knowledge, you can try and uh, make different and more powerful choices and have better results as well. So let's get started straight away. First things first, you need to know that this brain of ours has billions of neurons that exist in there. And every time you want to pick up a new skill or a new experience, these neurons start getting connected. The process is called synapse. Now obviously, uh, when the connection takes place, it is a weak connection because you've started doing something new for the first time. Now what you need to do is you need to make this synapse a strong synapse. What does that mean? It means to say you need to repeatedly keep doing that thing until it becomes so strong that it becomes an automatic process. Yes, an automatic process. That is really when it becomes a habit pattern. Easier said than done. Uh, we need to understand a little bit more about how long this process has to continue for the synapse to get really strong. Well, there are three versions of that. One is the Ben Franklin's 21 day strategy. For decades, we have been using this particular concept. I have personally used it. It's simple. It says that do something for 21 days continuously without a break and it shall become an automatic habit. Now remember, uh, the idea here is that 21 days continuously, if you break in between, you need to start all over again from day one to 21. Uh, recently, there has been a cutting edge uh, research done on uh, human brain and uh, it says it's not 21 days, it's 66 days, right? Uh, it's saying that you need to do something for 66 days continuously for the synapse to become strong. And then yet another theory which is of 256 days, almost about 9 months. Now when I try to correlate all of these things, uh, what I understand is that if I go backwards now, uh, 256 days is really good for you to bring about a change at the cellular level. I mean at the cellular level, you can actually feel that you are a new human being uh, simply because in 9 months you're going to have all new cells uh, taking birth in your body. Uh, that's of course uh, 256 days. Let's come back to 66 days now. These are those habits that are not really easy to pick up and master uh, and when you get into the process of 66 days you really see that you would have mastered a lot of things. For example, if you, if you wish to overcome a particular uh, emotion of yours, you want to control that emotion of yours in a certain way like anger or, or, or fear right? and then of course there's 21 days uh, which is about doing something which is quicker, faster uh, and of course uh, achieve the kind of results that you want. So this is really what I want to share with you this year let's not just create resolutions in ignorance but let's create them in knowledge and awareness and what that really means is this that whatever you actually say you shall do you need to follow up and follow through you need to take massive actions and believe in either the 21 day or the 66 day or the 256 day strategy whichever works for you this is Rahul Kapoor I really hope you enjoyed this until next time you please take care of yourself